Welcome to Tiny Bird's course on real-time analytics for e-commerce at scale. We'll be looking at the technology and techniques required to build real-time analyses over billions of transactions for international e-commerce. Over the last few years, Tiny Bird has helped design and develop high-performance real-time data products for e-commerce sites that operate globally. Working side-by-side -side with their data teams, we have learned how the specific business requirements of e-commerce impact on how you need to manage data and convert it into a real-time product from ingestion to publication and finally consumption. Let's keep in mind the benefits of real-time analytics for any e-commerce business. Consistent results across the organisation. Providing instant access to consistent numbers and analysis about the business has become an immense competitive advantage for the teams we work with. It fundamentally changes how they operate. Flexibility and opportunity. With access to real-time raw data and the ability to query it at scale, every new use case you want to track can be just one SQL query away. This is important for e-commerce businesses, where margins are often low and speed can be a competitive advantage, as can reacting quickly to problems and opportunities. Automate your insights. The ability to understand your business as it unfolds opens the door to automation, compounding the effect of how you react to data insights. Increase data-driven decision-making within your organisation. If queries and charts are slow to render results, people won't use them. Low latency, fast queries and charts will lower the barrier to finding answers within the data. The course will be of interest to anybody working in data analytics, but is especially valuable if you are in e-commerce or any other real-time business dealing with data at scale. There will be a series of short videos on these nine main topics, each video followed by a live discussion. The course will cover the basis of e-commerce analytics, the use cases and how we model them. We will explain how to run analytics in real time. Most e-commerce companies have similar challenges, so we'll explore common use cases and reveal how to deal with them. Based on these common use cases, we will explain how to manage them from the data engineering point of view, covering data processing and querying with a special focus on scale and real time. That means no lag between the sale being done and you seeing it on your dashboard. Analytics at scale means handling a lot of data and answering your questions fast in real time. The challenges of analytics at scale for any project. There's no escaping the truth that doing analytics is hard. You have to consider data volumes, reproducibility, data recovery, security, privacy. We deal with large quantities of data, billions of rows ingested and trillions of rows scanned daily with high frequency ingestion. When you get to a few million rows, the problems always start. A regular database is quite happy until you get to close to a 100 million row limit and everything starts to be slow. If you try to run analyses over a lot of rows, that will kill your online transaction processing database that is running your main site. The typical solution is to move data out of your database and run batch analytics in Apache Spark or something similar. What we want to achieve is high concurrency consumption with several hundred or more requests per second, serving real-time dashboards and automations. When you design an API, you always do so thinking about fast response times. What we need here are endpoints that are as fast as your regular endpoints with no delay between data generation and consumption. When you push your data into a big data system, that's not possible. The usual workflow in these cases is to dump your data into a big data system, process the data, usually this takes hours, such that maybe the next day you are able to know what ha happened. So you're looking behind you, explaining yesterday today. The challenge is to be as fast as MySQL and deal with Apache spark -like data size. Part of the solution is pre-calculating ingestion time, but some use cases can't be pre-calculated. We'll explore this. Another problem is moving data from your busy database to a place where you can query it safely. You would usually have the trans data in a transactional database, such as Oracle, DB2 or MySQL. They are pretty good for transactional workloads, but not so good for analytical ones. Moving data without losing anything in real time is not easy, especially if the volume is high. As you need to move data from transactional databases, you will need to follow a data synchronization and reconciliation strategy. This course focuses on column-oriented analytical databases. For an analytical query, usually only a small number of columns in a table need to be read. This is very important because the less memory you use, the faster your query runs. In a column-oriented database, you can read just the data you need. Updating these databases is not easy or fast, 
So we'll be looking at workarounds.